Our missionary to uh, Romania happens to be here this morning, and uh, he's a good, good friend. He's been a friend of all my, a lot of my life. I used to listen to him, and he was mentor and mentored me when I was a little boy. And I, uh, <laughs> I've always looked up to him. And, uh, Jim Morgan, would you would you come on up here and just they need some help? No, you come on up here. <laughs> Someday when he gets to be my age, uh, he'll lose his hair too. <laughs> it's good to be here this morning. I've been all over the place and um, got about eight more weeks and Lord willing to go back to Romania. And about June 22nd, that's the goal. And I met with our board um, a few weeks ago and they said, you can go, but you have to have 80% of your support, like 30% now. So I need another 30% in the next eight weeks. So praying and, and asking the Lord to provide that. I want to thank you folks for your prayers, for your encouragement, for your support financially from the church, from many individuals. Um, thank you so much. It uh, is an amazing thing to be on the other side of the sea and know that folks here are supporting you in prayer. It's just wonderful. So thank you so much. Josh, go to the next slide. Um, you've heard me talk about Teal. And this is Tio. Tio has become an incredible friend. He's been an incredible help to me every time I've been, four times I've been in Romania. And this time, he's become like a co-worker. And it's just amazing. He's living in, in my apartment right now, um, just because he wanted to. And so he's, he's a big help in that way. So Tio is just an incredible friend. He's going to help in the ministry this summer. <coughs> next slide. Go to the next slide. There we go. I am a member of a Baptist church, and this is the church. It's called um, it's called the Philadelphia Christian Baptist Church. I think they put the word Christian in there because not all Baptist churches are Christian. I believe in Romania. That's kind of what I'm learning. So this is the way it looks. This is where I go on Sunday evening. In Romania, the big service of the day is in the evening. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. So that's that's my church. And the next slide is my pastor. His name is Livio Costa, and he's a good man. He's, he started this church five years ago, so it's not a very old church. So it's it's a great thing to be a part of a, of a Baptist church here. And I remember, I remember, and I needed that because Pastor Costa gave me a letter of invitation from the Romanian Baptist Association so that I can use that to apply for a visa when I go back. And that is an incredible, important part of, of the visa process for me. The next slide just shows you where Romania is. It doesn't show all of Europe, but it's in Eastern Europe. You can see there's, there's Ukraine north of Romania, there's Hungary west of Romania, Bulgaria and Serbia south of Romania. I have opportunity actually been invited to go with some folks to Serbia and Bulgaria in ministry in the coming months, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, in the southern part of Romania is an area called Oltania. Romania is divided up into nine um, districts or nine regions, and Oltania is where I live, and there's a yellow circle kind of in the middle of that Oltania area that's highlighted. Cryova, that's where I live. And I had no clue when I started meeting up people in Romania, they were from, from Cryova. I had no clue that the Lord was working in my heart even then, because Oltania, I've learned, is the most spiritually needy part of Romania. It's made up of five counties. Go to the next slide. Made up of five counties, and there's 2,000 villages there, 39 cities of which Cryova is one, and 2 million people. So there's a lot of work to be done. We've, I've estimated maybe we could get to 40 villages um, a summer in ministry, film ministry. And so if you divide 2,000 by 40, that's 50 years. Well, um, hopefully I have another 50 years. <laughs> you know, I, my, my thinking is now aimed towards more teams. I think we need four more teams and in 10 years we can reach all 2,000 villages. But there's, there's an incredible work to be done. Um, the next slide shows you again Oltania, a little more close up. Um, Priola is kind of in the middle of that. And then the next slide shows you the villages that we have lined up this summer, where those stars are. We will go to those villages this summer to do film ministry. We'll be there for three days each in each of those villages. Go to the next slide, please, Josh. There's 15 villages lined up. We'll be there three days each. We'll work with children and the teens, 
um, children during the day, telling Bible stories, playing games. I'm going to take all the, the memories I have of a lot of games with me, and we'll, we'll, we'll uh, learn how to do that in Romania. Also, I have in mind that I'm going to take a wiffle ball and, and a bat with me, because I don't think they know anything about baseball. And so we'll teach the kids how to play at least baseball with a wiffle ball. And then the young people, they love to play, play soccer. And so that is what the young people that will be going with us in ministry will be organizing them to play soccer so that we can gather them together and, and tell them about Christ. And then we'll have three nights of films. The first night will be for children. We'll show the children's Jesus movie. It's in Romanian language. Um, it's very, very well done. The story told by children. The second night we have a, a film of about 20, 25 minutes that's of Christian soccer players around the world. And then we'll show up a young people's film. It'll be subtitled in Romanian. The third night we'll show the Jesus film for adults. And it will be in the Romanian language. So that is our plan for three days, children, teens, and three nights of films. The next slide will show you. Um, Okay, Tio's my co-worker, young people from four different churches, four different churches will come and, and help us with ministry. We'll be working with a, a church in each village, and we'll be encouraging people to accept Christ as their Savior, and then there's discipleship to do as well. We'll be able to disciple while we're there, but I believe part of the ministry will, will be to go back in the winter time and check up on those people that accept Christ. The next slide shows a van that I used in 2010. This is a purchased by Drive-In Ministries. It's operated by the Timishwara Baptist Bible Institute, and I was able to use it for a weekend and do some film ministry in 2010. The next slide shows the van that we were able to locate while I was there this year. When I get back, we will purchase this van. It's a Ford van. I was telling Mark Riley, um, he will enjoy that uh, I'll be driving a Ford in, in Romania. Roger will, will die a thousand deaths. <laughs> But I went to go on test drive a nice Chevrolet Cruze, and because they sell Chevrolet Cruises over there, so maybe I'll be able to do one of those someday. Who knows? But that's the van, and it's it's a great van. So um, June twenty second, when we go back, we'll be able to purchase that van. The next slide just shows you where the vans are located. Number one is Timisoara, that's where the first van is located, and number two is Priolo Rival, and that's. Um, where the van is that I'll be operating. For the last 17 summers in Oceana County, I have been involved in the harvest, not so much the harvest, but cherries, um, asparagus, blueberries, peaches, apples. I've been processing what's been harvested. And, and this time of year, it's always nervous. Um, what's the weather going to do? It just, how, are the, how are the buds in the trees? Well, they haven't even started to sprout yet, so that's good. That's good. But for 17 summers, I've done that and, and been involved in fruit harvest and fruit production. And this summer, for the first time in 17 years, I can say that God has taken me to harvest souls in Romania. And I look forward to that so much. I just, just can't believe that it's happening. It's just really amazing. And, uh, the fields in Romania are white in the harvest. And while I'm working with people, I'll remember the folks that are harvesting the fruit in the Shannon County. The next slide just tells you I have a couple of prayer cards out there on the welcome table. Um, I've got a newsletter that I sent out of my email. Sign up for the email. There's a brochure out there. You're welcome to take the prayer cards. And the last one is like Paul and Sonia did um, years ago. I still have some Romanian lay. If you would like to swap 20 American dollars for one Romanian blue, actually one is called blue, more than one is called lay. Um, I have some with me. This will help with my outfit and passes. I'm getting close. I'm going to be able to ship some things to Romania. And I uh, have another ticket to buy. So 